Hey, this is Rain, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about Henry's animation tools for Gmod. First, you need to open up your console and enter your bind key for plus hat menu. I chose V, but you know, you can go with anything else. And when you press V, you actually have to hold it down. There's your menu that you're going to use. Anyway, scroll down to your tools menu under hat tools and choose selector. And left click whatever uh, model it is you want to use. And my ragdolls are already in a position that I want, giggity. So um, you press the record button down there. And then press the little plus sign to add a new frame. And of course, uh, move your ragdoll around to another position, giggity, that, uh, that you're satisfied with. And of course, I'm going to make a point. I don't know, this is just an example. And straighten that out a bit. Now, I have the second frame for the animation I want, so bring up the menu. Oh, forgot. I gotta face pose this a bit first, make it look a little better. I'm using the HWM models for this, which uh, make much more flexible faces. Giggity. That looks pretty good. So, uh, I've got the second uh, position that I need. And, uh,. And press record again to save that frame and then of course create a new one and then move your idol around to the next um, position that you want god I hate that I keep saying that but anyway this is pretty nonsensical stuff right here but anyway have the uh, <sighs> great face have the final setting that I want for this rag doll, so I press record for the final time. And now, press play. And... You should see it... Oh my god. That's way too fast. Um, so, on each of these new keyframes at the far right, you need to change the uh, frame length to about 0.50. That's what I'm comfortable with. And you have to change it for each one. Right now it keeps like resetting with every new frame you do, which is kind of annoying because you have to do it every time, but still. Anyway, see if this is smoother. God, yes. I mean, look at that. It's very smooth. This uses a keyframe system. Uh, anyway, if you want to start working on a new model, you have to get up the selector tool and right click your old one to deselect it, and then left click your new model to start working with it again. And that's the basics. This has been right.